Hey what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode about Gulp. This tutorial we're gonna take a look on how to fix and make it work our browser sync and auto reload in our Gulp file.js. From a developer that hates plugins, here's a plugin that doesn't suck. Elementor is the best page builder for WordPress. Super light, scalable, and with an intuitive interface, Elementor will help you build professional looking websites in few minutes. Click the link in the description below to learn more. If you follow the previous lesson, you should have something like this, like a full gulp file.js with a bunch of tasks that they trigger properly and they all work. If we scroll all the way down and we check that the task watch that we recently created, here we are working in a series, so we are triggering one task after another in order to watch all the files and to trigger the browser sync. But if we give it a try and we actually run gulp watch, you're gonna notice that yes, the watch was started and it started watching files, but then the browser sync didn't trigger. The browser didn't open with the virtual local host in order to check for changes on our local environment and the actual browser sync task doesn't work. So let's fix this. Let's interrupt this execution of the gulp watch by hitting control C on our terminal. And in our code editor first, Let's change a bunch of things. First of all, we need to switch from series to parallel because parallel will launch. We execute both of these methods at the same time. So it's not gonna wait for the watch file to finish and then trigger browser sync or vice versa. It's gonna trigger then at the same time. Also the watch file is a sort of a session blocker. It means that if we scroll up and we check this method, we don't have a callback here. We're not writing any return to let Colt know that this is completed. We don't have a done method that we call as a callback like we're doing for pretty much every other method that we define. That's because the watch file doesn't have to finish, doesn't have to stop at the end of the execution. The watch file method, since it's attached to the default watch task of Gulp, needs to keep running in the background and always keep up. So this is sort of a session blocker because until this is running, nothing will happen after this because the watch file is basically taking over our terminal and is occupying this session that we currently have in our terminal. So let's change a bunch of things. First of all, let's move the browser sync to be triggered before the watch file. And then if we access the browser sync method here, we are actually passing a callback method and we are telling that at the end of the execution, just complete this function. But we don't actually need to do that because also the browser sync can be left up and running. It doesn't require to have a callback function to let Gold know that this is completed. So if we save this now and we open our terminal and we run once again Gold watch, look what happened. Boom, did you see? Automatically my local host at port 3000 was open and it's loading the uh, default HTML page that I have in my source folder. And the browser sync works because if we open once again uh, the terminal, we'll see that automatically Gulp started at the same time, the watch and the browser sync. The browser sync trigger all these local host URL that we can use and plus the watch file. It's up and running and watching and we can confirm this if we actually access one file in a source directory, for example, the style, and we create a space, whatever, we save this file. If we open the terminal, look what happened. The CSS was recognized as something changed and a new compiling, new minified version of our files was actually generated, which is great. The problem is that browser sync doesn't actually work because we have a small problem in it. So for example, if we check in the style.scss, the body should have a background of teal colored and it doesn't. If we access here, the my page doesn't have this. And also if we try to actually edit that page, so we are in the source index.html and we change this from my page to test and we save it, we go back in our browser, nothing changed, still the same. If we also refresh the page, actually, actually test changed. That's because we are not properly listening and watching the correct folder and we're not watching all the files that when they change, we should trigger a reload. So let's do it. Let's interrupt the execution of this session and let's clear the terminal. We can close 
this local host since it doesn't work anymore and we open back our code editor here. So first of all, in the goal file .js, the browser sync method should initialize a base directory of actually the distribution folder. The source folder SRC is the one where we have all our source files, so uncompressed, unminified working files, which it's normal that it doesn't work because this file uh, HTML cannot read properly SCSS, it doesn't have uh, the ability to compile automatically uh, ES6 JavaScript and read it properly, we should actually return and listen to the base dir in the distribution folder, which is the properly compiled and ready to be used for production index.html. Another thing that we should do, we should actually start looking and watching at all the files that need to cause a reload of the page. So if we scroll the way down where we having where we define the watch file method here we're just watching for the style and then uh, triggering the CSS, watching for the JavaScript, triggering the JS method and then reloading the page. We should do exactly the same for the HTML fonts and images since from the previous series here we have image watch fonts watch and HTML watch all pointing to the location of this file just to check if something changes there we should actually reload so we can copy these three variables scroll all the way down here and we can duplicate one two and three and then we can replace these three variables to actually watch the proper file image watch fonts watch and HTML watch and here we should actually trigger for image the images method fonts method and the html method and then when it's done automatically the page should be reloaded exactly like we're doing for the javascript uh, why don't we do exactly the same for the css so here style watch series css and then reload the page so we are covering also for the css style watch update perfect Okay, now let's test this. So if we access our terminal, we run once again gold watch. There you go, the page was correctly triggered and we have our custom style now because the page is returning the HTML file from the distribution folder which contains all the compiled assets, so this is correct. And if we open once again our uh, code editor and let me actually shrink this so we can see live the edits that we do here we have a body in the style.scss a body background teal if we change this from teal to white and we save it automatically the compiler saves the css spits out the compiled css and then reloads the page and we can confirm it by the action that happened in our terminal we have the css task that was started and finished and then the browser sync was reloaded perfect now there's a small bug though because if we try once again for example to change these to black background and we save it once again, nothing happens. The page wasn't reloaded. If we try to reload manually the page, our, our CSS changes didn't affect anything, like they didn't actually trigger. If we open the terminal, we can see that a new CSS task wasn't even triggered. So there's something blocking, there's something preventing the next task or the next watch files or whatever other things Gulp is listening to to actually be in trigger. And I don't know if this is an issue with browser sync reload or it's an issue we call for or it's an issue the way I set things up, but it's a weird bug that luckily I found how to fix it. So let's revert this to white. Let's save this and let's open the terminal. Let's interrupt this task. Let's clear this out. So in order to fix this weird thing, right now we're calling this reload method that it's actually a variable that we declare at the beginning coming directly from the browser sync reload. In order to fix this, we just need to actually not use this and create a task called reload that triggers this browser sync reload and then uh, completes itself. So it tells Gulp that that task had completed with a callback function. So we can actually put it directly after the browser sync. We can say function, we can call it reload, and we need to pass a callback. So in our case, the usual done. And here we can trigger the browser sync reload. And this is a method. And then we can return the done callback method. That's it. So now that we define a custom reload method that we're calling 
every time we have a watch file, we're not calling directly anymore that variable that we could declare, we're actually calling a task. This should fix all our problems. So if we access the terminal and once again, we trigger gulp watch, there you go. The browser sync was properly triggered. We have our page. If we open once again, the code editor here and we shrink it down, we change these to black. And it was reloaded the first time. If we create a color and we give it a color white, it was reloaded once again. Fantastic. And this goes on for all the files that we have in our source folder. So if, for example, we have the index and we change my page to test, we save it. After the new HTML was pushed and moved to the distribution folder, our local host with browser sync automatically reloads. And this goes for also app.js. So here we have a custom message that says ESX modules work. If we change this to, I don't know, yeah, yes, reload once again. And also here it works. So everything it's probably getting watched all the methods that we're expecting to be executed from our watch. So in our case, the CSS compiling, JavaScript images, fonts, and HTML are getting triggered. And also the reload method, because we define it customly and we're triggering the browser sync reload, is getting properly triggered at every watch. And the parallel method, it's fantastic. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And until the next one, as usual, happy coding.